Okay, let's start this. Okay, so welcome back. Um, we're gonna continue working on the game today. Um, but we're gonna do something different actually. Uh, instead of working on the gameplay as we did in previous stream, we're gonna work a bit on some editor tools that uh, that we we would need for creating waves and levels and upgrades. So currently, the workflow is yeah. Let's say you want to create a new upgrade, you would have to go here, go to create go to upgrades and then create an upgrade definition file and then you would have a, an editor right here uh, where you would uh, be able to yeah to define this this level and then you'd have to go to the upgrades manager and add it to the list so I mean, this is doable but uh, is not necessarily an easy workflow so it would be much easier to have a a um, uh, an editor window which is specialized for doing upgrades and for managing them and that's what we're gonna work on today so we're gonna have one for upgrades uh, let me delete this one uh, so we're gonna have a, an editor window for for managing upgrades and another one for levels so the level one the levels one is gonna be a bit um, a bit bigger because so, because currently I mean yeah, kind of, um, because uh, there are multiple, um, or, or the level is composed of multiple uh, definition files, because it's the the actual level definition, and then it's there's a definition file for each wave, and each wave has um, um, a list of uh, properties. So yeah, we'll have to we'll have to deal with this, and then there there are the multipliers and whatnot. So we'll have to do some stuff here. But um, yeah, no, that's that's kind of it. So we're gonna work on this. Um, we're gonna start with the with the upgrades window because um, I think it's it's gonna be much easier. And then with with the things that we learned from this one. We can move to the levels one, and uh, it should be it should be easy to do then. So let's start doing that. So let's start, as I said, with the with the upgrades. We're gonna start a task, and let's track the time. Okay, we're all set up. Cool. Okay. Now let's see. Um, let's close everything. Let's go to the upgrades. And now I think this is the first time, or actually not. I, I, but yeah, we're gonna make an, an an editor folder in the upgrades here. Editor, if I can spell it. So editor. Um, we're gonna create another folder in here. We're gonna call it um, upgrades. I, I'm not sure if I wanna call it upgrades manager. Upgrades editor. Sure. Now let's create a class here. Upgrades editor. Let's clean up the namespace. So ESS upgrades editor. Yeah, this looks fine. Let's copy this. And um, actually, can I show in Unity? Yeah, that's what I want. Create a standard definition reference here, so that I so that the uh, editor assembly, like so. Now this should be updated. Yeah, now we have editor in here. Awesome. Yay! Now, actually, I don't actually remember how to how to set up uh, editors, uh, but fortunately, I know where to find them. Or do I? 
Um, yeah, I know where to find them, but I have to to go to another project. Let's uh, go that real quick. Uh, there real quick. Uh, God damn it! There are so many projects in here. Um, not seeing it. That's not a good sign. Here it is. I was looking for the name, not for a, for a path. Let's go here and actually map definition is not the one, but uh... oh, it's not here. Okay, so it should be around here somewhere. Uh... Tools, yeah, that's what we want. A creator, sure, whatever there is. Okay, so we want an editor window, uh, and yeah, this is actually what what we need. Okay, it's window with that type and the name, and then show it. Okay, not just editor, but editor window. Uh, we want this. Um, is it private? It's public. Static. Wait in it. Get window. Wait editor. Um, there we go. Uh, I didn't want it a bookmark. Did bookmark. Thank you. And. Yeah, I will need this. So let's add this. It's not an upgrade. This is the upgrades editor. And oh my bad, I put this on the on the class, not on the method. There we go. So now we should. And we already see it, so we have project tower in here. Average editor, we click on it, and then we get our window. Yeah, awesome! Cool. So, we'll need to, to, do, the, to do some setup in here, but um, let's actually go back to this editor and let's see. Let's see how that was called. So, I think it's um. I'm not sure. Uh, let's use structure because it's gonna be easier to to see. What am I looking for? Um, Is pulled in multiple places. Okay. Um. Let's do it in another way. So I know I I wanna. Okay. Okay, so I have to do that only on enable. Okay, I just tried. I, I, I thought uh, I thought I had to do it in another way, but I guess that's that's um, for not for editor windows, but for inspector for the inspector. Okay, so on enable. Okay, I've actually first let's see what do we want to do. So let's look at the how does the upgrades file uh the file looks like so okay so this is what it looks like we have the GUID which is generated automatically so we don't care about it we have a name we have a description we have an icon we have the stat link 
level name and the levels and whether it's infinite or not. So actually, first first of all, uh, we have to the reference to the upgrades manager. So we'll have to do some. Uh, yeah, we'll have to go to the as a database and find the upgrades manager first because we'll need the uh, a list of all the upgrades. And then let's see, let's see. Um, how do we want to do this? I think I think we'll have a list. So let let's assume this is our uh window. I think we're just gonna split it um like so. On the left we'll have the list of, of upgrades and maybe a, a create button up top to create a new one. And then uh, and and then on the on the right we're gonna have the form. And I think it I mean, this is a simple editor. shouldn't shouldn't be um, hard to make. So yeah, that's uh, I think that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering if if I should make it so I can. Um... I'm wondering if I'm wondering if. I should be able to reorder the list because right now, if you go to the upgrades manager, you, you can theoretically order the list of upgrades, but I don't know if that's relevant in any way. Well, first of all, I'm actually displaying the the, the upgrades anywhere right now, so the order doesn't really matter. But I wonder if in, uh, wondering if, if in the future I would need that. But I don't think that's the case. So yeah, we're just gonna have a. Yeah, static, static list. Okay, so we have an idea. So yeah, we're gonna have the editor look something like this. Um, not sure how that's gonna work, but we're gonna find out. Okay. Um, let's see. So as I said, uh, we need reference to the upgrades manager. Let's create that. Upgrades manager, upgrades manager. Um, and let's see. Um, Actually, I don't uh, know. How do I do this? Um, what have I used? I've used it in the. Let's see. Uh, the components. I have something. Um, something like this. Not sure where. Uh, this one. Whatever in here. Okay, so so I'm using find asset. Okay, let's put this on the right uh, to to see it. Okay, so let's comment this. Okay, so let's do the the same as it here. So type of um, upgrades manager, full name. Let's get all the GUIDs as a database dot find assets. Um, I assume there's there's always gonna be assets, so I'm not even gonna check for it. So, cause yeah, there's there's always gonna be one asset there. Um, uh, 
I'm just gonna take the first one and then GUID to asset path of GUID. And actually I can directly assign it. So uh, this would be um, upgrades manager is as a database dot load that set that path. This one, uh, it's manager and this is the path. Nothing else? No, that's it. Okay, so now we, we have a way of getting the upgrades manager. So that's the first step. So now basically we have access to the um, to the list of upgrades. Let's uh, log this so we know it works. Um, let's see what should we do. Um, I just log it like this. Uh, let's import this. And let's see what's happening in here. What does not exist in Isremo's core? Um, what do you mean it doesn't exist? What? Um, things not right. Uh, let me check. Oh, I think I know what the problem is. So let's go to scripts, assembly definition. Let's go to editor. I think I I also need to add the ES framework um runtime. Maybe I'm not entirely sure. Let's try it. Yeah, that's it. Cool. So now if I create this, it good. Yep, I got a, I got a log and I have the reference. Nice. Let's remove the log now because we don't need it. Okay, so we have this, and now, now we can start. Um, we can start with the. Let's get rid of this. Actually, let's get back to to this other project. So I'm gonna need some things from here. Um, I know that I, I know that I have some some helper functions. Um, yeah, those. Things. Actually, no. I I. Okay, so apparently I'm not using them here, but I'm pretty sure I have some helper functions for um, for loading style sheets and whatnot. Uh, let's see. Oh, actually I know where they are. I think they're they're actually in the project. Um, let's get back to this. Let's go to plugins, yes, framework, source. Style runtime? No. Actually, it is. Actually, not really. But uh, we have the, the the function that I was uh, talking about. Okay, but anyway, uh, let's create the two files that we're gonna need. So this one. So we have a um, uh, upgrade editor. Yeah, that's correct. So we're gonna have a UEXML and a stylesheet, a USS file. 
let's fix something here so we'll have to get a couple of folders back for this to work i'm not this is kind of far that's totally far um Oh, maybe maybe the schema, uh, the schema is not created. So let uh, let's see. Um, update XML schema. There we go. So now we have the the schema. So now we should be able to have autocomplete for um, for the elements. That's awesome. Okay. Um, so we're gonna have, as I said, we're gonna have the sidebar, and then we're gonna have the um, let's call it editor. Let's uh, let's define those in the in the style sheet. So. Like I said uh, sidebar. Actually, uh, I want a I want an element that wraps both of them. So uh, name. Let's call it I don't know root. So let's see root. Um, Actually, I'm not sure if I if I need to. Actually, no. I'm gonna specify flex, um, even though I think it's the default, because um, they're not. There's either flex or none, but um, as values. But uh, yeah, we're we're gonna uh, say it's flex. Uh, uh, flex direction will do. Actually, row. I think row is what we want. And we're gonna uh, validate that by saying flex. Uh, I want this to expand. No, I don't want to expand. I want it to shrink. I want it to be 25% um, of the screen. And let's do the same thing for so sidebar and editor. I want this to be 5. I don't know. Okay, so we don't have outlines, but we for sure have background color. So let's say red. Background color, uh, green. Okay, and now we have to load those files. So that's what I was getting with those um, files in here. So. There we go. I thought I thought I, I've done uh, something similar to. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. So I made them specify. So add logo style sheet. We should make this. Um... I should make this be a generic function somewhere. I think. But anyway, for now, um, yeah, let's do it. So, actually, let's copy uh, those three lines. Let's just drop them here. Doesn't know what the style sheet is. I'm gonna import it. Uh, we don't have a root. Um, actually, we have a root, but it's like so. And we want to import the tree, and that would be, let's see. Okay, so apparently here I'm generating everything from code, right? Yeah. So I'm not, I don't have a a file, but that's not a problem. Um. 
get file path related to script no get path to script color um what does the get do okay sure i guess that's that's what i want and what's the file name the file name is Editor.uxml, no offset, uh, and the same should be here. God damn it. Load asset at path. Uh, this is going to be a tree. Um, actually, I'm not uh, What is it? Just a visual tree asset. That's what. Well, that's what we want. Tree path. And then is tree dot something clone tree. And where do we want to clone it? We want it in the root, like so. And I think we want this to be reversed. So first load the first load the the XML and then load the style sheet. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, let's try it. It should work. I mean, everything is there, so it should it should just work or not. Okay, so we didn't find the the file upgrade editor because I forgot an S upgrades editor. Okay, let's try it again. Still no luck. Um, was that a new error? Okay. Let's use the debugger and see what's happening here. Okay, so it is loaded, but we don't have, what we do have, wait. Display flex, flex direction row. Oh, we don't have any height. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Um, can I say something like this? Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say this is gonna shrink, and then I'm gonna say main width. Let's put a 200 pixels. This so now it can be bigger, but if it's smaller, uh, it's just gonna remain like so. Awesome. Okay. Um, Let's see, let's see. I want a border between those two. So let's see how we can do that. Oh, so I have border and I can control it per side. So I would like border, right. Uh, okay, so I have to specify it like so. So let's say two pixels and border. Right color, and I have no idea what colors I should use. Uh, I, I'm not sure if Unity has colors defined. I think they do, but I'm not sure what they're called. So I, I should look into that. Um, so let's try to find out. Mm sure I saw uh, they have some variables for um, for colors if I'm not mistaken so yeah that's those are custom variables but I want their variables for color we don't have that okay that's weird I'm pretty sure I saw something related to this somewhere
built in unity variables. There we go. Group colors. Group role sub element pseudo state. Um, unity variables. Can I see? It? Oh, damn, that's nice. So, want a order? Focus board input field. Um, need to call it default border. Let's try that. Well, let's get rid of those uh, ugly colors. And it doesn't know what that is. Which is not cool. So now I'm wondering if I should do something to have access to those variables. Um, does it say anything here? Can use the running style sheet to ensure that. The... Okay. But. Okay, so so it's so it's. It's probably working, but uh, my editor doesn't know about those variables, so it's um, shouting at me. So I'm wondering if you can, if you can do something about it. But I don't think there's, uh, and those are the same page. Um, yeah, I don't think I can do anything about it. Um, God damn it! Half an hour and we haven't done actually anything. Damn. Uh, let's try this again. Again, let's close the debugger. I'm not seeing any border, which is not cool. So maybe then they don't have a reference to this. Uh, let's try with. Oh, I don't have comments. Oh, god damn it! Let's try red. Okay, so now we have. So it doesn't know about this. Hmm. So now I'm not sure how to use those built in uh, variables. I'm sh quite sure uh, Unity doesn't support imports. Oh, I have to use var. I see. I see. And that does what? Okay, uh, let's go back to Unity. Maybe now it works? Oh, yeah. Okay, so now we have a border. That's awesome. Okay, but still shouting. But um, can I somehow just um, suppress this? Suppress for statement. And what does it say about the var? A non function var. Yeah, but you're looking at the browser. That doesn't, that doesn't work like so. Um, suppress for statement. Okay. Let's do it like this. Okay, so we have the sidebar and whatever the, the editor part. We're gonna uh, the sidebar right now. Let's um, let's see how do we want to do this. Um, so we're gonna do some. How should how should we display them? I think just just writing the hmm. yeah just adding a bunch of uh, labels I think I'm gonna do that from code though. so. What should I do it from code? Um, I mean, no, I'm gonna do it from code, but I think I'm gonna use a template. Um, set up 
um, sidebar. Um, Okay, so let's see what do we want to do. Here? Um, Actually, let's make a, a separate um, UX that we're going to use as template. Um, this type template. Um, one thing. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, if we have to do something special for um, or templates. So. Know, apparently it's just the same. So so I have to still declare this. Okay, so I don't care about templates from XML, but I care about templates from C Sharp. So I just load it and then I um... oh nice, I can clone it into basically nothing, and then I can do my stuff with it, and then because I was just thinking about how to get reference to to the to the asset that I just cloned. Just thinking of wrapping it, but okay, I didn't know I can do a null in here and get the reference. Actually, no, I can just do it like so. Apparently, I get the reference to it. Uh, let's see. Clone tree. Let's read a bit about clone tree. So, please, uh, that's the target. Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. So if I say no, it would go to this. Okay, I'm confused, but I'm going to find out right now. So let's copy this. Uh, we're gonna clone it into nothing. Um,
Okay. Um, this is gonna be okay. I call it list item template. List item. Okay. So now what I, what I want to do is do a for each through upgrades manager dot. Damn, I can't get all the upgrades. That's not cute. I want to go through all of them. Um, I guess I can expose that functionality only for um, for the editor. So I think I'm going to do just that. So let's see. Um, we're gonna do uh, not not like if um, if we're in the editor, we're gonna say public um, We're gonna do it like this. And here I can get them. Okay, definition. Then I'm gonna clone the tree. Oh, damn it. So uh, var uh, item. Now what what is item? That's a that's a question. Template container. I'm not sure what a template container is, but we're gonna find out, I guess. Uh, can I do Q on it? Can't. What can I do on it? Content container template ID. Okay, now what if I specify null in here? Can't. Okay, so the, the documentation is basically shit. Can I go to, oh, I guess this one? No, it still says null in here. So get visual tree asset and use it to clone tree to null. And then it says it's gonna give me a visual element, which it doesn't. What am I doing wrong? Yeah, of course it's ambiguous. That's what I was thinking about. And let's try like this. So there was a visual uh, element. So this one, uh, get Q in here. Uh, let's get a, actually I haven't uh, put any in the template right now. Um, let's complete this right about here. No, another one. Yeah. Um, what do I do? I'm gonna just do a, a label for now or a button. Let's do a button. Button. It doesn't have any text. It doesn't have actually anything. Um, I have a class. Um, list item. But nothing else. Um, can I just um, I do it like this? Oh yes. Yeah, that's much better. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look for a button. I'm gonna look for a list item. Button dot um, text. I think that's what I want. It's gonna be um, this definition dot main. Okay, let's see what this does. Okay, so we have some errors. That's awesome. Trying to revert your color. Really, okay, I don't know what's that. They so didn't find anything, uh, I'm assuming, so.
I'm gonna do a break mining here uh, and let's I think I'm gonna just clone it into a yeah, actually I don't know. Um Yeah, let's just uh, let's just put that breakpoint. Let's enable debug mode. Let's make sure that this, yeah, that's correct. Touch. Awesome. Now let's create a window. Okay. So this is null. Okay. That's expected. Come on, let me inspect this. Damn, there are a lot of stuff in this thing. Um. Wait. So this is. Even though it's a template container, this is actually a visual element. So now, actually, let me try uh, execute this query again, but without the content container there. Oh, it's, it is still null. Okay. Um. Child count. There is a child in there. So why can't I get it? Hmm. Okay, now that's weird. Maybe the query won't work because it's not attached? That could be one thing. But that's not the problem actually, because I, I, I'm not, I don't really need to use the query. Uh, but, okay, so... Was I just able to do this before? Okay. Um, let's get uh, let's the children, let's get the... First one as button, and this doesn't work. Why doesn't this work? Um, I actually wanted to know what the squiggly is. No, it's not. No, can I do it the other way around and just let me have it? Yeah, thanks. Okay, so now it should work fine. We have the reference to the button. Now we don't have any errors. That's from earlier. And now I can attach this to, to what? Uh, we need to query the root for getting the sidebar. So var sidebar is root visual element q. Uh, it's gonna be a, actually I don't need to put it because it's a visual element. I want the Sidebar add button. Let's 
get rid of that breakpoint. And now we should get a button right here, and we don't. Because we didn't find a sidebar. Um, what? Why did the pin find a sidebar? Okay. Apparently we have the, the breakpoint. Let's try it again. Okay, so the sidebar is null. Okay. There's one child. And this child is the root as I need it. See that name somewhere, please. It should be under name somewhere after M. Okay, so it's the root. I want the children of this. So this would be zero. Uh, Children, nope. To list of zero, so there are two elements in here, and the first one should be the sidebar. And it is. So why can't I get it? Oh, I don't have to specify the... Okay, so that's different from the web. Apparently I don't have to specify the hashtag. Um, I just have to call it by its name. Which is weird. But, who am I to judge? That's definitely weird. So now, um, if this gets recompiled, we'll get a button in here. Hopefully. So yeah, we do have the sidebar and button. Yeah, we have the button, which does nothing right now, but it's a button. Okay. Um, let's see. So let's move this here. Um, we have to add functionality to the button. So button. No. Um, clickable. Clicked. Yeah. Okay, so I need a private upgrades manager. No, uh, upgrade definition. So I'm going to just copy this. Uh, let's make this smaller so we have more space. So I don't want the sidebar, but I want the editor. Um,
actually don't know what, I'm, what I want to do here. Um, but let's just call that method because we're gonna go to it quite soon. Um, I think I'm going to just uh, cheat and make a new The serialized property. I don't have a serialized property. Um, um, I can make it like so. Okay. How do I make a serialized property? So, um, Actually, I think this is the long way to go about this. Um, so what I want is to reuse the editor um, that we have. Let me see. Um, the editor that we already have for the for the upgrade definition, and just plop it in here instead of trying to recreate each and every field um, in this editor. So I, I think that would be much easier uh, because okay so for for let's say the things that I've made so those those things right here uh, it should be okay to to make the the fields that come from um from the localization package yeah I'm not sure if they have an equivalent for UI toolkit and I for sure don't want to recreate all this functionality in using UI toolkit so I'm I would just prefer to to have them as uh, yeah to to have them as uh, yeah I would just do an ingrid container and just let the the let Unity draw the the same inspector um, so I don't have to do a thing. Uh, but actually, let's try to see how how we can use the ingrid support. Yeah, so that's not a very good example. Um, uh,
Ah. I see, that's how we have to do it. Okay, so we don't need either of those. We need a... Serialized object of select the definition and so dot. What did it create? Uh, what's that do, do doing here? And I'm not sure what serialized object but create editor in GUI. Um, entity create editor in GUI. If that's uh, a function that exists. I See it in here, but I guess it's not. Um, draw editor. Yada yada. Or create editor. I guess that's what I want. Editor for SO. No. What do I have here? An object, editor type. Oh, so I can actually just do this and, and say that is type of type of um, upgrade definition is that it that's all that i have to do not quite sure so this is the editor and um let's get some more music in here um Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's just do a random playlist or something. Uh, my super mix. Sure, but actually, yeah, yeah, sure. Let's do this one. Nice. Oh my god, it worked. Oh my god. <laughs> it actually worked, does it? Actually. Oh, oh my god, it actually works. Holy shit. I was not expecting this. I was totally not expecting this. I wish the script was not here, but... Man, this is awesome. Um, let's see. Uh, I want to do something though. Um, and I think I'm gonna find it here though. Uh, no. What can I find that? So, so there's something that I want, but ah. Uh...
properties excluding. Aha, that's what I want. Uh, actually, let's put this here. Let's get back to our upgrades editor. And instead of this, see that is object. Uh, uh, Oh, I do have it. Okay, so this is uh, this is so I can do it word out. Or not? Oh, I have to be inside an editor to be able to have access to this. God damn it. Um, I say um type of um uh, What an editor? What's happening if you guys do this? I think this sh this this might work. I just remove those those things. Okay. Uh, let's try this. Not the default inspector. Hell yeah! There we go. So we have exactly the editor from from Odin. So whatever we have in here, we also have in here. Nice. Cool. Let's make this look better. Now the only thing left to do is what happens if I do this? Yeah, it's gonna just throw errors because it doesn't know about uh, because this is null. So yeah, that does make sense. Um, I might just make it so whenever I get this, I also populate this with. Uh, Upgrades of zero. So let's just take the first one. So whenever I open it, there's something selected. There we go. Now the only thing left to do is add some. Let's put some of those things. Uh, let's add some padding to this stuff. So. Um... Batting, I'm gonna say uh, zero and uh, zero and ten pixels, maybe for the side. Okay, and now it chopped my <laughs> it chopped my button. Um, okay, uh, let's do the same for this, but actually in all directions. Yeah, that looks much better. 
Actually, let's put it like here too. Okay. So now this looks awesome. Now, one thing that I wonder is. Hmm. I just remove definition from the from the end if it exists. Um, let's see. So can I do a replace? Yes, I can. Um, I would have liked to do it with the regex. Um, I don't remember how to do it though, but I know where to find the answer. So let's say regex in here. Actually, uh, would I be able to find it? So so we used it for the objectives editor. I don't think it's in, oh, it is. Regex replace, there we go. That's what I want. Okay, so I want something similar to this. So where's my name here? And let's copy this. Let's paste this here and let's plop a regex in here. Uh So let's see what do I want to do. So I want everything, and then maybe there's a space. Maybe. Um, why? Why doesn't this work? I have to double escape it. Sure. Uh, and. Uh, it's either D or D. Definition, yeah. And then this is the end of the regex. And I just want, I think something like this. That's how it groups, uh, I can't remember. Um, yeah, so this is the group. Yeah, so that's should work. Yeah, there we go. So we just remove definition from the from the from the end. Nice. Cool. I wonder if I should I if I shouldn't do this in uh, percentages. Do them in like have a, uh, yeah, I might just do that. So let's say that I want this to be actually 300 pixels. Doesn't have a min width. Doesn't stretch, doesn't do anything. This is gonna be like so, and this is gonna be an auto mode. So now, yeah, we always have space right here. Nice. Now the only thing remaining is, uh, let's add, no, there are things. Uh, when I click on this, I'm not sure, even though I'm changing um, this variable up top, um, the editor is not gonna be fresh, but I can test it because I don't, let's make an, let's just make another upgrade. Uh, and just to have uh, another one to test. Sure. Let's just do it like so. Let's put it in the list. Uh, the editor is not gonna notice that I changed that, so let's refresh this. Yeah. So yeah, now even though I'm clicking on this, nothing is happening. So what what we have to do is I'm gonna just copy setup editor. So so one thing that I've done I've done uh, special 
in this in this method is I've cleared everything in the editor when it's called so that I can use it here so I'm gonna set the new selected definition and then I'm just gonna set up editor again so now uh, theoretically whenever I click on this yeah we are getting the um, the correct editor One other thing, I'd like to have a, a button at the top for creating new um, for creating new new upgrades. Oh man, there are so many things. Actually, let's make a list. Let's uh, let me make a list in here of things that I I I still want to do. Oof. Yeah, with we're gonna way past the I mean or we're, we're gonna go way past the the limit uh, when we're done I think we'll probably need another another report to to finish what I what I'm planning for this so um uh, create button we'll need a create button we want a um, um a button Or a selected make selected definitions button look different. Um, add uh, an input for changing the name of the upgrade. Asset name is not the name in the. Uh, I'm not referring to the name of the of the upgrade that's gonna appear in the in the game. And actually, actually, that's that's everything. I don't think there's anything else that I want to add. Oh no, there is one thing. Um, add a delete button. I had no idea I can double click on this. They they, they valid this shortcut. And I've never noticed it. Anyway, um, yeah, I think I want to first do the uh, being able to change the name. Uh, this is gonna be the last thing that we're gonna do. We're gonna make the create button, then the delete one, and then we're gonna make the editor look pretty. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, let me actually just collapse this. Okay, so I want to add an input at the top of this. Let's close some of those things in here because we don't need them anymore. Uh, um, we're going to go here. Let's see. So I know I know I want an input. Hmm. Uh, actually, one thing I, I want to try one thing. Um. Nice. We have. Um, we have undo redo. Undo change that link on new. Nice. Cool. Uh, okay. What's happening here? At my post. Okay, so this is the editor. Um, so this is 
the action editor and I also want here a I want something here but I don't know if, I'm not sure exactly what I want. Um What was that called? Um Did we saw it? Oh yeah, this one. Serialized object and I want this. Uh I saw that get no. Find find property name. Uh, uh, party field. That's the one I want. SP asset name. Uh, Editor add name input. Let's see if it works. Okay, so right from the start, I'm not seeing it. Uh, let's go to the debugger. Let's see if maybe it's there. So this, oh, so it is there. So we have a property field, but. Nothing's happening. Uh, it doesn't have a height. Um, not sure why. Let's try to add a height to this. Can I just, um, how can I show all? Um, let's look for height. And I just, uh, here, let's put it at 30 pixels. 30 pixels. Okay, so. Yeah, actually nothing appeared there. Um a toolkit property field. Oh one thing, maybe maybe you didn't find the the property. So we could check for that. So let's uh, close this and this. Let's open it again. So SP. Yeah, so this is null. Okay, so identify the the name. It is not called. No, it is name. Um, Um, okay. Let's just inspect this. I'm not. I don't think I've ever used um, serialized objects, or haven't looked at them, like what they're doing and whatnot. 
it knows about the object. That's cool. What's this? I don't know what the inspector mode is. Um, Auto behavior? What? What is this? Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to do the um, serialized object. But fortunately, I know how to do it with a, uh, um, I think, the, the, the long way. I know how to do it like, like that. Um, Yeah, I can do something similar to what this guy is doing. I mean, whatever. He does other stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm not. I, I think I'm gonna come back to this some some other time. But for now, I think I'm gonna just do uh, do it the way I know how to do. So uh, actually, let's continue this. So I want a text field, I think. So uh, 
uh, it has a label. I want the label. Asset name. What else is there? Uh, actually, nothing interesting. Okay. I don't think I can use bindings also because bindings, if I'm not mistaken, is, if I'm not mistaken, also use the um, serialized properties. So what I'm gonna do is register value changed callback. But actually, do I want to do this like this? Um, I don't want to blur, but I want to know when it was blurred. Okay, so I guess this is what I want. Their event. Is this what he wants? Okay, so this is the event type. Um, that's uh, from event base. Let's see, blur event, focus event, and this is event base. Yes, okay. Uh, name text field no um, select definition dot um, name is going to be equal to name text field dot value um, then we're going to do whatever this uh, dude is doing here so actually no uh, no actually I want to set it as dirt I want to save the assets. Uh, no, it was editor editor utility. No. What was that thing? Editor utility. The dirty selected this and save it. Okay. So now theoretically we should have uh and we also have editor. Editor uh on. editor add name text field. Now we should have a text field in here. Which has no value. Okay, let's uh, fix that. In text field dot value set value without notify. No, actually no, we can do it. We're not listening to the change in value. Name. So we should get tower health upgrade definition in here. And if I put a one in here and then blur, 
looks like nothing is happening, but no, actually nothing happened. If I save, maybe I'm not getting the event. Let's see. Let's see if we are actually getting the event. Let's put a break maybe here. Click blur. Yeah, to get the event. It knows about any name. But the name is not updated. Hmm. Oh, I think I have to. Um, I don't have to change that name. I have to change the, the asset name. I have to rename the file. Yeah, that's what I have to do. Yeah. Um, get full path for no, and Um, get path relative to script color. No, want us a database. Get asset path for this. I want path to be equal to path. Replace and replace this with this. And then file that copy. Uh bar new. This is the new path. So from path to new path. Does it work? Um, yeah, no, it works. Uh, what's this true at the end? We'll write, yeah. Oh, never mind.
let's try it again. So now it should work. Hell yeah. The only thing left is um, after this is change setup setup sidebar. Close enough this but uh, we have to clear the sidebar first there we go awesome and now all I have is some space uh, below this asset name so let's add a class to it and add the class list um, Awesome. This looks perfect. Okay, so we have this. Let's uh let's mark it. Now let's add that create button in here. Okay, we are done with the editor. Um, now we have to do some things in the sidebar. So this is the list of things. We don't care about that. Let's do our button. New button, um, click event. Yeah, sure, let's add it here. Yeah, sure. Actually, no, I like it more like this because I'm going to add that method in here. So when you click the create button, I have to create a new scriptable object and I have to save it. So initiate um, Actually, how do you? I I'm quite sure that it's gonna tell me how how I should do it. If I just do it the wrong way. So I'm gonna say this, and it's gonna tell me to use what? Create instance. That's the one, not instantiate. So scriptable object dot create instance. Yeah. Our definition is gonna ask me for a name. I'm quite sure. Oh, never mind then. 
Um, actually, no name. Um, and apparently, I don't have to use this. Create asset. So it was the asset and then the path is the definition and uh, what? Uh, uh, I don't have a path. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, just hard code it in here. So let's do hmm, let's see. Set a breakpoint here. Let's wait. For it, there we go. Let's click all those. Okay, so um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What do I want to do? Yeah, asset database dot get asset path for select the definition. Sure. So this path, I'm gonna just plop it in here. I am gonna change this though. Um, upgrade definition. Yeah. Added padding, and that's wrong. I wanted to add margin. Here we go. Yay. Nothing happened. We do have a file here. Um, let's just let's not do the that substring. Let's do the substring. Yeah, but let's uh, let's take all the characters. So one, two, six, seven, eight. So there are eight at the front. So let's take the first eight. Um, oh, and one other thing we have to also add it to um, okay, so we're gonna save it and then go to nope, upgrade manager. 
upgrades. Actually, no. Let's make this a setter. Uh, a getter setter thing. So get set. Um, uh, edit for set dirty, um, update manager. Let's edit those. Okay, so now theoretically, when we create a new one, there you go. It appears in the list. We have, we have it in there. It's in the upgrades manager. But one thing that didn't happen is we didn't see a select. So yeah, we have to also set up the editor again because we've changed the selected definition. So now, boom, we created a new one. We have it in here. Awesome. Now the only thing that uh, left to do is add a delete button. I'm gonna make this uh, this create button a little bit bigger and the text maybe. Actually, that padding was okay. So I want. So it looks like this now, and I want the font size to be um, bigger. So font size twenty four pixels. That's that's way too way too. Big. I don't know which which is the default. I don't know what what does that have. No, that's, that looks ugly. Um, can I do create in all capitals? Uh, where is that button? Gonna look like shit. Hmm. Might be cool to have a plus in. Yeah, it looks like shit. Not to create. Nice. Okay, so this is done. Let's mark it as so. We have the create button. Now let's make the delete button. So we'll go here and we're gonna do some cleanup actually.
gonna do a visual element. We're gonna do a, a second button. So um, um, name button and delete button. Zero twenty pixels, maybe. Let's see how how this looks like. Uh, I have to reopen. Or no, no, yeah, I have to reopen this. And it crashed. Uh, of course, it can uh, it crashed because. Yeah, this no longer works. Now this is a button. Um, oh no, let's call it line item. Name button. Okay. Uh, wait. So it is column. Sidebar. Everything. Uh, flex zero zero auto. Nice. But where's the second button? Uh, I'm not seeing the second button. Let's try it again. Okay, I still don't see the button. Let's bring in the debugger. Oh, there is no button. Wait, what's happening here? Oh, I see what's happening. I have to add the line item, not the name button, to the sidebar. Let's try it again. We should now see a button right here. Yeah. Awesome. Um, cool. It has some spacing, which is nice. Um. Let's see what else to do. What else should we do? Um, I mean, we should make it work, but... Uh, can I do hover state? Is that something that, uh, that they now know? I'm wondering. Oh, damn, they have that. Can I have pointer? Uh, not pointer, but cursor. Oh, I have pointer. I don't have that. 
What options do I have? Arrow, sling, orbit, pen. Really? I don't have that. Arrow. Why okay, didn't they not have this? Oh my god, that, that's so stupid. That's like, like, cursor pointer, that's the most basic thing. USS supported properties. Link. I think it's called Link. Maybe. Scale, arrow plus, arrow minus. Maybe arrow minus. Do I not have to do it on hover? Do I have to do it here? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, nice. Uh, then let's do it here too. There was a narrow plus, right? Nice. Sure, I like that red. I wonder if uh, what colors do they have? I still have this here. That's so stupid. It, it... Yeah, they should have added uh, indicators for colors in here. Let's uh, error. There we go. We have some some error colors. So it's var like this, and we have to copy this thing. Nice. That looks dope. And now let's let's uh, make it work. So we have to do the same thing as here, where so this is the name button and we want the delete button. I don't have to replace the text. I only know when it's clicked. Now we're gonna do some things in here. So let's see what do we have to do. So we're gonna do something similar to this. Uh, except that we're gonna remove something from the list. Actually, I think I can do this in one go. So list where uh, def, is, uh, def is not equal to the upgrade definition. So that's one thing. Uh, we'll have to see. Yeah, I'm gonna do all of the all of them. So I know I have to make this dirty. I know I have to save assets. Nice, I can delete asset. Um, I need a path which I do have because. I can just get it as a database, get asset path for um, upgrade definition. I'm gonna just delete that bit. And I also, actually, before all of this, if selected definition is equal to the upgrade definition, uh, I'm gonna do. No, let's do it after this one. Like the definition is gonna be the upgrades, the first upgrade. Awesome. That should be everything. Uh, X, but this is not first.
right. So I'm going to delete the last one. So it's this one here. And it's gone. I'm going to select one and I'm going to remove it. Awesome. No errors. And we got first one. It did disappear from the list. Awesome. Looks like it's working. So now we can create and delete upgrades from the editor. That is cool. And now the only thing left is make the selected uh, the selected definition look different here in the list. So let's see what we can do about that. There's, we have this highlight. Let's see if we can use this. Um, actually, for, uh, no, yeah. We're going to add a um, background color var this. Let's paste that same line in here. And let's see here. Um, if nice, I accept that it doesn't really work. Um, with upside bar. Awesome. I think we're done with this task. I think we're actually done. Yeah, okay, it took us two hours, but uh, it's just going to get easier for, for this other one where I've uh, said that it's going to take three hours. Uh, let's do it like this. Log. Nice. Okay, let's uh, let's commit this. And then I'm gonna take a short break for a few minutes and then we'll continue with the other one. Uh Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna be back in a, in a few minutes, and then we're gonna continue with the with the other task.
Okay. Um, yeah, we'll have to do some things before we start. Uh, apparently, I am running out of space on disk, and my my recording is gonna stop. Um, so let me go and delete some stuff, some past streams. Um, so I have enough space to to continue recording this one. Um, let's see. Okay, those are the, the, the big ones. Let's just keep past two streams, maybe. So delete those ones. Nice. I just got rid of 50 gigabytes of, uh, of stuff. Cool. Now we're fine. We can record for 18 hours straight and we won't run out of space. Okay, so yeah, so we've done this. this is quite an amazing thing that uh, that we've done. This uh, editor for for upgrades, um, and we're gonna do a similar thing, uh, a similar thing for um, for uh, levels and waves. Not sure how I'm gonna organize them, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Let's end this task and let's start working on this new one. Um, yeah, so let's track the time. Okay, so. As I said at the beginning of the stream, the um, the uh, the levels are a bit different, so they might be a bit harder to do. Um, first of all, a level is basically a list of waves, and then everything uh, fast happens on the the wave itself. Um, one thing that it's gonna save us a lot of time is yeah because we've actually reusing the the editor for the for the definition itself the the one the one here for the inspector we actually don't have to recreate this into into the editor window so we'll just have to take care of um yeah just displaying and doing the layout of the editor so now I'm thinking, how should we do it? Because okay, so so this was the layout for the for the other one. What I'm thinking right now, maybe we're gonna have the list of levels here. No, no, uh, I don't know. Actually, let's use this. So we're gonna have the levels here. So it's gonna be a list of levels. Uh, then we'll need the list of waves, and I'm not sure how to do it. I'm not sure if we should just make another um, another sidebar and have the waves here. I mean, I could do something fancy and have this sidebar um, let's see I think i can I can do something fancy in here yeah, 
yeah, I think I could be I could be fancy with this. So instead of having two sidebars, as I was uh, displaying here, we could actually have a single sidebar. We would have the list of levels, and then you can click on the list of levels. Uh, I don't want to do that. Um, you'd have the list of levels. You click on it, and then. Um, The, the levels would be replaced by the list of waves, and then you can click on the list of waves. So basically, yeah, um, you would basically have a like a navigation panel, and you'd go, you have the list of waves, then you go to the waves, and then when you get to the waves, you get the editor on the right. Something like that. Yeah, I think that's how we're going to do it. Okay, let's try to let's start by doing the the list of levels. Uh and one thing that we don't have currently, so we have this, we have level definitions, but we don't have a place where we store um, a list of waves, oh, a list of levels, my bad. So I think we'll have to make this first and then um then work on this and actually we'll need a place to store that list of levels yeah i think we'll we'll have to do some things first to to actually make this work um man i love this song okay Okay, let's see. Uh, let's get out of the plugins because we don't need them anymore. Uh, let's go to the levels. Okay, so we have the level definition. We have the level manager, which, which takes care of one single level. Is this for me? Yeah, that's for me. Um... I might just duplicate this actually. I mean, not duplicate, but because uh, I, I need kind of the same validators for. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna, just gonna do this. Plop it in here, and instead of having waves here, we're gonna have level definition. Levels. Get. We'll add index. Level. Level length, and I would just have to replace. Actually, that's no. Uh, we also have this. Nice. Let's see if it works. Uh, levels, levels definition. Um, Uh, 
damn it. Um, okay. And we're going to have this. Yep. Level is duplicated. So we have valid uh, validation. What's happening here? Uh, let's remove those. Okay. And there is one last thing that we need to do and Uh, oh, let's just call it game. Uh, Runtime. And let's see. Uh, game settings. Sure. Set dot game dot run time also going to be a scriptable object uh, we're gonna paste this Private levels. Okay. Now I think we have everything we need. Uh, one second. Okay, um, yeah, so we have the game settings. Now we can start creating the, the app for this. Uh, I um, think I'm going to put it in here. Yeah. Oh, one thing, well, one other thing that I have to do. Uh, let's make that a single definition reference. Create assembly definition reference and let's add the script to the runtime assembly. Like cool.
Okay. Now we have this too. Uh, and now we can actually um, copy some stuff from the editor we just, we just made because it's uh, pretty similar. So let's get this. Let me. Oh, come on. My oh, shit. Copy, paste, copy, paste. Import everything. Uh, it's gonna be. Levels editor. Uh, I'm gonna need uh, this. Name settings. Uh, we're gonna see about that selected uh, stuff. Uh, for now, we just need this. Set up. Um, oh no, find. No, set. Set up. Game settings. Okay. Levels editor, and we get this because we have to change the type here. There we go. We have the window. Uh, let me check something real quick. Hey, what the hell is that thing? Shit. Nice. Come on. Um, I'll have to take a short break. I have to get something uh, at the door. Uh, I'll be back in, in a few minutes.
Okay, I'm back. Okay, so um, yeah, so we have the reference to the game settings, and now we have to start working on the actual editor. Uh, let's remove this. So yeah, as I said, uh, it's going to be quite similar. So let's um, copy some things from the uh, what is it here? So. Levels editor, and we're gonna just duplicate uh, no, this one for this one. Awesome. We also will need the USS, uh, so let's duplicate that as well. I mean, it's gonna be similar, not when we're not gonna need uh, everything from there, but. Uh, let's see this one. So, okay, so let's see. We need the root, we need the sidebar, we need the editor, and I think that's kind of it. Let's still copy this because it's going to be the same thing. Except for nice. Uh, let's actually call this here. And let's see if it works. Yep. It looks like it's working. Uh one thing. Okay, so it opens like this. Uh, does it remember what size I gave it last time? So, yes, it does. Okay. So maybe we should set up some some dimensions for this. Let's see. Let's see what size does this have right now. A hundred by five hundred or nine hundred. Okay. So let's try to set it up. Var window equals whatever. I can't set up a size. I just wanted to set up a, a default size or something. Is that something that I can do? Um. I don't want to constrain it. Should size. Aha. Get me in the way through rect. Uh, I don't know what utility is, so I'm gonna say false, maybe. Have any um, maybe we're gonna get something in here. See, it's true to create a floating 
possibility window false to create a normal wind. Uh, I guess that's false in this case, so it should be fine. Uh, so 900 by 600. Uh, there are some problems here. There's an extra thingy there. There we go. So I'm guessing this one is, yeah, this one is. Okay. And I can. Oh. I can't uh, resize it anymore. Okay, so I think I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use that. But uh, I, I wanna know what the true parameter does. So let's try it. I just wanna see what, what happens. Oh, damn. Okay, so it's like a separate window. Not necessarily, actually. But it's not dockable for sure. Uh, okay, so let's let's back with the one distract thing. Can't actually resize the window afterwards so that's not that's not good okay i just wanted to set uh, an initial an initial size so the because uh, because by default something like this and i don't want the content to be cut or to be to be squished uh, but i i still want it to be resizable so yeah Anyway, doesn't matter. Okay, now we have to, to do something about the the sidebar. So we have to to, to set this up. And let's see how do we want to do it. So I think I'm gonna rename that file to level list instead of levels definition. Actually, I can do it here. So level list definition. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm sure.
Okay. So, this doesn't matter. Uh, upgrades manager. Um, no. Game settings, setup editor, uh, that doesn't exist. Um, sidebar. Okay, no button, um, because we haven't called setup sidebar here. Let's try it again. Nice. And now that I think about it, uh, this shouldn't be sidebar step, because the editor is going to be related to whatever is selected as well, so let's just call this step. Sure, rename that. And let's move this to the top. So here. Um, uh, let's update this path. So this would be in levels instead of upgrades. So Levels.
Okay. Actually, no, we do have this. We don't have the editor yet, though. It's going to active uh, the delete button. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, uh, this would be the game settings like this. Game settings, no editor. Why don't we have, um, so this one has a level and this, oh no, this is empty. Um, yeah, because we changed the name. Yeah, that's true. So now we should get uh, one button here. Yeah, basic levels. Awesome. And we can click on it, it gets selected, but nothing happens. Um, Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna keep this selected. 
stuff. Um, this because we don't need it. Not for this at least. Um, we're gonna change the step though, so we're gonna go to levels. When we click on one of those. And now we're, we're uh, on the next step. Let's create that um, setup. Yeah. Private void setup editor. Just so we don't have to come back to this. So we know this is set. Um, I'm actually going to duplicate this. this isn't quite that elegant um but uh, yeah it's gonna work okay so we're gonna have a create button and it's gonna do uh something a little bit different actually and we're gonna come back to this later i i think let's just comment this for now Create level. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, I have a new template, but for now it's okay. That regex is okay. Um, on click, we're gonna do waves. Uh, we're gonna do this. Uh, actually, yeah, no, that's the ugly definition. No, uh, this is gonna be and not even okay. The editor. Um, public. Okay, so we have levels. Uh, let's use it in here. Level definition. Okay, let's see. We're here, click on this, create level, we have the, the only level. Oh no, yeah, no, we actually need that editor. Uh, or, um, yeah, we need to select it. Uh, I want to be able to change the name. Yeah. So in here, I'm actually going to select it. Have a separate uh, button for uh, changing the step. Uh, this is not level definition. This is level list definition. Yeah, like so. So this is not gonna happen here. Actually, I'm gonna have a separate button for that. Uh, um,
system button, uh, not delete, but uh, open button. Let's try that. Yeah. Okay. So I see I can select it and actually this doesn't do anything. I have to reopen the editor. It doesn't do anything. Why is that? Uh, because I have to put uh, change the Let's try it again. I can select it. And now I went to back, but I went forward and opened it. And now I'm here. Now I would need a, a, a button to go back. So I'll have to add that. Um, let's add another class, another UXML file. So this is level item template we are going to kind of duplicate this so on top of those two buttons I'm gonna add another two um, yeah, I don't have a I don't have the uh, move Move down, move down. Um, Level item template. Level item template. Uh, what's wrong? Level. Now it should work. Nice.
Yeah, I think that's the fourth text. Selected level, level definition, waves. Okay, base level open. And we have nothing in here. Why is that? Because this is empty. Because there's no level. Uh, where the heck is my level? Revert this, please. Nice. Cool. Nice. And it has been added to the list. Cool. And I can delete it, I expect. Yeah, cool. So this functionality works. Um, the open works. We'll have to do the sidebar for ways as well. So unfortunately, we'll have to duplicate this once again.
uh, this set 30 doesn't make sense anymore. Um, set the, the level here. And because that's wrong, I guess this one is wrong too. Set 30 selected level list. Actually, let's just copy this. One. Basic level, this level, and waves. Nice. Nice. Level definition, we have the new wave. And we can delete it. Cool. Okay, so most of the functionality of the sidebar is done. Um, what we what's left to do is and actually let's add some tasks for that so add back button um hook up um reorder buttons and actually i think that's it uh, I think this is everything that we need to do. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's everything. For the sidebar, I mean. So now we should be able to do the the editor, the the right part uh, of the window. Um, Yeah. Let's try to do that. So as well, uh, yeah, we're gonna copy some things from here too. Uh, so here, we're gonna get this part, and we're gonna do that that switch that we have for the sidebar, but we're gonna change the names of the. Set up editor. We're gonna do it like so. We're gonna pass in the editor now the sidebar. So actually let's copy this. Set up editor lab list level and wave and Visual element editor. Uh, is it levels? Okay. So it's levels with an S and waves. Let's get this thing. 
চলেছি সিলেক্টেড লেভেল লিস্ট নেম ওকে সো দ্যাটস ওয়ান লেটস ডু দ্য সেম ফর লেভেল সিলেক্টেড লেভেল and once more uh, we're going to do it for uh, actually let's copy everything because we are going to need the edit for the waves uh not this though select a wave wave create editor for wave and a node in editor that might be actually it. We, i think we have everything that we need um okay no, let's try basic level nice we go into it we have a null reference error that's not cool um set up editor levels selected level name Have I messed it up actually? What happened here? Oh, I have to select a yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So I'm selecting I'm setting the, the selected level list so and selected level it's this dot levels of zero but actually i'm not going to do that um if this is now we're just going to return early and that's not going to happen ever so we're fine Okay, if I select it, it's going to appear. If I go to the next one, we don't have... Ah, let's make sure we didn't have that error. So that works. We go, no error. We select it. Now we have this. And now we go, click on this. And we have this whole thing. Let's copy some more. Uh, I have this. This is what I need. on in a in a common use as well but uh, yeah it's okay for now let's find some um, some cool uh, arrows for this And I just get the character and that's it. That would be amazing. We don't have a similar arrow for right. That's that's not cool. Um, sure. Let's do this. Doesn't really matter. I hope they're gonna show up.
Yeah, I was afraid of that. Oh, those those up here. This is the only one that doesn't work. Okay, let's try another one, I guess. Um. Let's try this one. Fall. Fine, let's try this one. This should work. Do you have tooltips? Oh yeah, oh nice. Open... Nice. Open. Move down. Up. Delete. Find a. I mean, let's find something for this as well. For that minus. And actually, now that I think about it, uh, I might just try to find the the matching arrows for up and down. Um. Uh, uh, not. Uh, I want up. I think it would be this one. Let's try this. So this would be up. No, that's not the one. There's not the, the arrow I'm looking for. I guess it would be this one. I wish the same like in, in the same set or something. Actually, you know what? Just leave that like it is. Okay, you back getting back to this. Okay, so I want a, a minus sign or a delete sign or something. Actually, I actually like this, uh, this thing. I don't know about it. God damn it. Uh. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's the same thing. That it was as uh, the same thing. I wanted like a thicker line, I guess. It's not. You can't really see it uh, when it's minus. Actually, it looks like it's 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 thicker now. Nice. Oh, I might just uh. No, I can't. Uh, let's make that so this works. Yeah, uh, let's make that back button because that's really important right now. Um, let's see. Um, how do we want to do that? Let's set some regions in here. Um, editor, let's get everything. Let's make a region for sidebar. Get everything in here. Uh, those. Actually, no. Um, I need another arrow. God damn it. Um, left arrows. Is this the one that I want? No, this is the one that I want. Seven nine four. And I can't believe there's no. Uh, so that's, I mean, no equivalent. I don't believe that. Let's try another website. We have some arrows here. Uh, another one that I'm looking for.
Well, there we go. Actually, I will try something. Can I search for this? Yes, I can. So there's no there's no equivalent for this for uh, other other reactions. Okay, that's not cool, but whatever. And you're fucking kidding me. You have the up and down arrow, but not the the one pointing to the right. Really, really. Why? God damn it. Fine, I'm gonna keep that one. Oh, hello. What about this one? Nope. Oh yeah, so I was looking for a back arrow, right? Um, yeah, about that. I'm assuming this won't work. Hmm. Just gonna get this one, I guess. Okay, so... But then, uh, text. Step is equal to. Step is equal. Uh, actually, we can actually do a uh, switch. <gasps> we can be fancy. Step switch. Um. If it's waves, we're gonna do levels. If it's levels, we're gonna do this, and if it's this, we're just gonna keep it at this. Is it not default? That's not how you specify it? Yeah, like this. Cool. And after you do, you do that, uh, you'll have to set up sidebar and then set up uh, uh, editor.
That's right. Nice. So I actually, I actually think I I want the button to be to the left here. Or should I keep it? I may should keep it there. But in that case, I should just add it directly to the to the sidebar and not this. Yeah. So let's see if it works. Yep, so it's disabled now. But if I go into the into this list, it's enabled, so I can go back. If I go into the level, also enabled, and I can go back. Nice. So it works ex uh, it works as expected. Ah uh... means that the only thing that I need to do is the reorder buttons. That's interesting. Because those are actually quite easy to do, but uh... damn, that's nice. When I create a new wave, the editor is not uh, re-rendered. So let's see what's about. Um, There we go. Nice. Works here too. And it should work here as well. Yes, it is. Cool. I might just put some space between the create button and the back button. So. Awesome. I'm gonna change that arrow from the so this one matches with this one in style. Uh, I have to reopen the editor. Yeah. 
So now the, the match. Uh, let's just replace those two actually. Let's see how it looks. So the up one and here as well. Let's see how that looks. If it doesn't look good, I'm not gonna keep it. So. Oh damn, it looks nice. Yeah, we're doing it. Uh, let's get a down one as well. There we go. And here. Awesome. Okay, so I can no longer um, delete the, the last. So only if I have one or more, I can delete. Afterwards, I can't. Okay, so reorder. Yeah, let's do that. Um, the first and the second button, so this move up button. Move down. This is index one, this is index two. Uh, actually, let's, let's make sure that um, the first one is the move up button. Uh, here, yeah, so first up, then down. Okay, so first we have to get the, the index at which the, the item or the selected item is. Or not the selected one, but the current one. Index of uh, levels. And the value, which is The level definition. So we got the index. Then The 
move at index search at index plus one and I want to insert what do I want to insert? Um does the remove return no. Oh I want to insert uh, this one. Uh, math if dot mean of length minus one and that's no actually no this one is zero so this is the maximum of zero and index but I need the length for this one so here it is the minimum of length minus one cool and we have to assign the the list back to the so this uh, uh, this is equal to array dot to array uh, editor utility dot set dirty this uh, as a database save assets cool that should do it let's try it. uh actually what what was this uh, these are levels let's reopen the editor just to be sure Oh, my bad. Um, when I move up, this should be minus. Cool. And actually, let's... Um, this if index the same as new index which is gonna return early just so that we don't do extra computation but why would we uh, let's do the same here So now we are not saving anything or modifying anything, so it's much faster. But now if we create a level, now we can reorder them and we can actually see them if we go here. There we go. Nice. Cool. And now we should do the same for the the editor in here. So this is for waves. Uh, let's just replace the things in here. So this is one. This is one. Here. And that should be it. Oops. 
Boom. Boom. Okay. I can't move it down. Okay, so something is not working correctly. Uh, first of all, this should be the one that should be dirty. And I think that's actually the problem that we have. Oh, and also this, of course. Zero, one, two, three, yeah. Nice. Now it works. Okay, I think we're actually done with this editor too. Because we have everything that we need for this. We, we can create new lists, we can change the name of them. New list. Space right definition at the end is not going to appear on the right. We need to put it with the. Uh, I write it like this. I can go inside and I'm done. Oh, it's just going to work. Level definition. Okay, so that's that's bad. Uh, when we go back, we should clear stuff. So actually, even though I like this syntax, we can't use it. I mean, we can but um, I think we should use um, a simple uh, switch statement. I just, yeah, nice. So when I'm in waves, I'm gonna say selected wave to null. When I'm in levels selected, level is gonna be null. And then on default, whatever. So now it means that if I go here, I have a level selected, but when I go back and go to this list, Nothing is selected. So I can create a level. I can go inside it. I can create uh that was an error.
Oh, okay, it makes sense. Um, let's do this. I mean, I don't want to use it. Uh, I'd like it better like this. So this is the level definition, level list definition. And I also want the wave definition. Let's go there. Yeah, this. So now we shouldn't get this error any, anymore. Let's remove the list. Let's add a new list. Let's go inside. Let's create a level. Let's go inside. And now we don't have an error. Let's create a wave. And now we have to specify whatever, everything here. Okay, so now we have a problem that I see. So, so if I if I'm gonna remove this, the the level list, uh, all the levels from within are not gonna be deleted, and it's not cool. Yeah, so we have leftover stuff in here. Ah, uh, okay. So I know how to get rid of those. Um, but first, I think I want to do something else. So I think when I create um, waves, I don't want to create them as separate assets. I think I want to add them to. This is wrong. Uh, I think I want to add them to the selected level. So instead of doing create asset, oh no, I can create the asset. Uh, no, yeah, no, yeah. Instead of doing create asset here. I think I want to do asset database, add object to asset definition. And what else do I need? I need the object, which is going to be uh, the selected level. I'm going to set the name. And I have to change the, the delete. Maybe. Remove asset, remove object from asset. Yeah. Object remove. Uh, uh, wave definition. Like so. Now let's try it. So I have basic level. I go to the level and I create a wave. And now that we have it, so we have the level definition, and there we have the the wave within it. So that's nice. Now if I remove it, it just goes away. 
Cool. That's actually cool. Uh, it's uh, here. Okay, so that's not good. Okay, the selected wave is the wave definition. Hmm. Okay, that's weird. Oh, I'm stupid. Uh, or no? Oh yeah. Uh, I don't want to change the selected. I want to change the selected wave. Level. Wait. Yeah. Selected. We create a new one. We delete it, and then we go back to the the first one. Uh, let's check this one as well. Uh, uh, the levels one. Up, down, open, delete. Yeah, this is fine. And I'm assuming this one is as well. Yeah, cool. And now, because that's that's where I was getting. It. Uh, when we when we delete a level list, um, we're gonna delete this asset, and on top of that, or actually before of that, um. We are going to go through all of the levels within. So that's going to be a four inch in here. Uh, all the levels, level definition, and I'm going to delete each and every one of them. Let's try this. Levels editor, I'm gonna create a new list. I'm gonna go inside the list, I'm gonna create a level and another one and another one. I'm gonna create some waves, maybe some waves here. And then when I delete this, boom, everything is gone. Whoa! So I think we have everything that we need. I don't think there's anything else uh, left to do here. I have no idea when we got that error. I'll keep an eye on that. Awesome. This is actually awesome. And now that I think about it, I might just care uh, to. I might just put everything inside this uh, 
levels list actually. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that actually. So we're not gonna do that. So it would be here then. Uh, not selected level, but selected level list. And I make it at the yeah. Hide inspector, hide in hierarchy. Hide in hierarchy, yeah. So I'll do something similar for levels. Your level definition. There we go. Let's try it. Create level list. Go inside, create level. So I can get edits for it, but I can't actually oh I can select it but I but it's not available in the hierarchy. But it's still here, so it doesn't matter. Then I go here, I go here, and then I create a wave. Also, the wave is not available. And now, if I remove this, it's just one asset that I have to remove from. From disk. I see them for a bit, so I'm gonna comment hiding hierarchy flags. Let's try it again. Create a list. We have the list. Create a level. There we go. We have a level. Create wave. And here's the wave as well. Nice. Oh, uh, there's one thing I want to check. What happens if I have. Uh, I want to make this list scrollable. Okay, let's try to do that. Let's see, how would we do that actually? Um, no, actually no, first let's debug it. Let's see if this list is, uh, or how, how high is this list? So that's okay. Uh, the only thing that we don't have are um, scroll bars. So I'm not sure if we can do this through USS or do, or if we have to wrap uh, this in a specific element. Not sure. So there is this. Uh, no, we have overflow. Overflow scroll. Wait, I can't set it to scroll. Apparently can't. Um, okay, so let's see what we can do about scroll bars. Scroll view. Okay. So I guess I'm going to do a scroll view in here. Um, visual element. Uh, this is going to be aim uh, top bar.
uh, no, uh, there's gonna be a scroll view. List. So now I have to change some things uh, a little bit. So let's see. We have the sidebar. Uh, we're not gonna clear the sidebar. We're gonna get the top bar. And we are gonna clear the top bar and we're also gonna get the uh, the list. Let's play the list. So I'm gonna pass this as well. And now we have to choose where everything goes. So this is not the sidebar, this is gonna be the top bar. Scroll view. Or let's not call it top bar, let's call it header. That makes much more sense. Header. Header. Uh, this is a scroll view. This is the header. And now let's see where everything goes. So everything in here. Go into the list. I'm not sure if I can add it like this or if I have to add it uh, differently, but I guess we'll see. Um, actually, no. Let's let's do it. Let's do it the same for for every each one of them. So this is the list. This is the list. And let's see what happens in the editor. Oh, damn it. Close this. Levels editor. Okay, so looks fine for now. Uh, this is not correct. Uh, let's go to this level. No, this level. No, this level. No, this level. I can't scroll. Okay. So, um, this should be list. This should be I container if you put content container. I think that's what we'll have to do. Let's try it now. This one, this one, and we still can scroll. Awesome. Let's inspect. So we do have the scroll view. I think the scroll view is uh yeah we have the limit we have to limit the size of the scroll view uh which is not that hard to do i think so there's a sidebar actually this is the list uh we have the header It's gonna be flex zero zero auto. 
We're gonna have the list list. Also zero zero out no, we're gonna do it like this. And now we can scroll. And looks like we can scroll for quite a bit. Why does it stop scrolling? Is the question now. Looks like it just keeps going. So that's not good. So maybe we do have to, to add it like so. Let's see in a bit. The bright again. Um, Okay, let's see what's happening here. Do so we have a scroll view? Whatever the item. Get a scroll view. Just add to it. Why doesn't this work? 
why doesn't it work? I mean, it works, but it scrolls. Um, I don't know why it scrolls indefinitely. And also why why I'm not seeing the, the scroll bars. Okay, this is wrong. I'm quite sure this is wrong. I mean, for sure it's a bug, but... Um... Okay, so now it doesn't work. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't work. Yeah, I was just gonna like this. Um, it's good that it works, so so we can scroll. Um, yeah, let's just remove this. Okay.
Uh, okay, there's another thing that I have to remove, which is not in here. I guess uh, we need to. Yeah, we need to start the editor. So let's do that. Ah, uh, sh. Uh... On. on your checks. Okay, uh, okay, so those are gone. Nice. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through all of the files. I'm just looking, um, just looking to them a bit, but, uh, oh, there's one thing that I, that I've said that I wanna do. Uh, so I want to make a folder here. Levels editor, I want to move everything in that folder. And let's change this. Namespace. Okay. Okay, this looks fine. Cool. Let's just try it again, just to be sure that it works. Uh, this was not updated. Okay, that's a bug. If I go back. Okay, so the rename doesn't. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> okay, so it actually renamed the file outside, not the one here. Okay. Okay, that's a problem. But I think what I have to do. So. So for the level list is okay. I think for the um yeah, I think here uh what we have to do is set the name to the new name and then uh, not uh editor utility set come on. Set dirty this and then save the assets. And we need something similar for the waves as well. So selected wave. Yeah, actually that's that's it. So I think now it's gonna work correctly. So if we go here, let's actually Start it. Okay, so yep, now it works, and this is fine. Let's try from scratch. So this is a new one. Let's create a level. Yep, we have it. Let's create a wave. Cool. 
school. Uh, one other thing that I want to do is before doing everything, I'd like to check if those are different. So, if, you know, if they're the same, we're just going to return early. We're going to do the same thing here. And also here. Just uh, we don't have to do a, a save if it's not necessary. And also file uh, rename. So now if I select the wave, yep, uh, we don't uh, we don't get any loading. If I do something here, yeah, that's different. Nice. Cool. Let's try this as well. So we have this. Nice. Oh. oh I forgot to. I forgot to enable those. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna keep them, uh, or at least no, I'm gonna keep this, uh, uh, commented for the levels, I'm gonna uncomment it for the waves. Um, because I'll have to do so, so right now, when we, um, let's remove this. Actually, no, that's that's let's make one so we have an example. So right now, if, uh, when you want to play the game, you have to manually uh, in, uh, invoke a level manager with a level definition. So I'm just gonna uh, leave it here so I can just drag and drop this, and so so I can play a game. Otherwise, I won't be able to. But this is gonna be changed. So instead of me dragging the level here, there's gonna be a another manager that deals with a with a list of levels and whatever does everything that it needs to do but we're not there yet but actually we're done with this so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna stop the timer for this and yeah that's fine and let's commit this and feature this uh, I want everything publish cool yeah I think that's everything for today um, yeah I, I don't think I want to work on, on anything else um, yeah we're just gonna continue working on the gameplay uh, uh, next week, uh, we're gonna do so now that we have this file, uh, which is the level list, uh, we're gonna and the, the game settings, we're gonna use those to, to start a game, um, start a game automatically. <laughs> uh, no, it's only on YouTube. Um, we're gonna use the, the uh, we're gonna use the asset to to start the level automatically, so we don't have to to do the drag and drop that we that we've done um, until now. Yeah. So yeah. So we're gonna stop here. Um. Thanks for thanks for uh, sticking by, and see you uh, next week.